welcome if you have been here before thank you for tuning in again i appreciate you for coming back in this video i'm going to be talking about i am mawa of kenya and mr ghana baby wodemaya of ghana please before you leave a comment on this video make sure you understand the video in before you rush to comment in defense of who or against who because i am not a reactor i am not here to react i am just here to analyze every single thing that i understand about the battle going on between the two guys so please before you get provoked along the way i will urge you to get a proper understanding of the video before you leave a comment so you will know what to comment on and that way it's going to make it easy for me to reply you okay with that being said please don't forget to like this video it's not something that i've just started today okay and um ayamawa and wudimaya's camp have been dragging each other on youtube here but before now it wasn't as bad as it is right now like i said earlier i'm not here to take sight i am not here i'm not a reactor I like to analyze things for better understanding and that is exactly what i'm going to do in this video just in case you do not know who they are let me introduce them to you properly but i believe strongly that you may know them given the fact that they've been around for a long time and given the fact that they are all very big on the space but then you can never be too big for some people not to know you all right so let's start with ayamawa of kenya Yamawa is a YouTuber from Kenya who travels the world. He has been to almost every continent on head, traveling and making YouTube videos, doing all amazing things, setting up YouTube channels for different YouTubers around the globe. And he's currently seated at 400 and something thousand subscribers. I don't know how correct this is, but 4,000 and above you know when you talk about organic viewers organic channels i will always relate to this um Wudimaya and ayamara and almost every member of his family has a youtube channel they are all youtubers now which kind of tell you something about youtube and about why that is but that will be later in the video don introducing ayamara Let's move to Wodemaya, Mr. Ghana Baby. Wodemaya is currently seated at 1.300 and something million subscribers on YouTube. He travels around Africa mostly. I don't know. I think Wodemaya should be able to count how many African countries he is yet to visit as he has visited more than I strongly believe he may be able to count or remember. He has traveled to almost every country in Africa in a meeting other YouTubers around Africa. So these guys are doing incredibly well. These guys have really inspired a lot of young African creatives on the space. Now let's get into the issue. What really happened? What happened is there have been different people reacting. This one will say, oh, Wodemaya is this. I mean, like some are against Wodemaya while some are against Ayamawa and they are for Wodemaya. Some are against Wodemaya and they are strongly standing and rooting for Ayamawa. What am I going to say in this video is, I saw this coming. Maybe they never saw it coming, but I saw it coming. One person that might be watching this video today will be my weakness. I know he's going to click on this video because of Wodemaya. He may be my weakness because I've talked about it last year. I think I talked about it around December or January where I feel like if I'm Wodemaya, there's something I was going to do to avoid getting to where they are right now this place where things are really going bad like everybody's dragging everybody the whole uh, but you will never understand what it is like to be dragged on youtube or social media anywhere i'm not talking of physical dragging you know physical dragging is dangerous because you're physically being abused beaten and some people will stone you people that troll you on social media sees you in real life they can do that if they have a chance to do it they will do it so you will never truly understand how it feels to be dragged to be on that table where everybody makes content about you 
people will even start their youtube channel just because they want to come and talk about you in a very negative light you will never truly understand it until you are on that table so because i have been there I know what they are going through. Even though nobody will talk, none of them will come out to say, oh, he's paining me here because this is happening. I know where he's paining them because I've been there and this is my job. I've been on YouTube. In August, I'll be four whole years on here. That's a lot for me to have learned some things. I told that person, if he remembers, I know he remember. I told someone in January, between January and December, of late last year and early this year i said you see what Wodemaya is allowing right now it's going to get him into serious dragging later like i knew he said i should leave that in is it Wodemaya that sent them i said okay he asked me what do i think Wodemaya supposed to do if i was in his shoes what would i have done i said if i was Wodemaya, because the people making these videos are dragging i am mawa I try to associate with the Maya's character to Ayamawa Dragon. Do you understand where it all started? And yeah, it all started with the two of them not being in good terms and then none of them coming out to boldly speak, speak up. Apart from Jim Wango, who have talked about this before, when she had issues, you know, with Wode Maya, she came out to say, oh, my brother, you and my brother have any issues. Otherwise, a lot of people didn't know that Wodemaya and Ayamawa were not on good terms. A lot of people took advantage of that, the fact that they are aware that Wodemaya and Ayamawa are not in good terms and then they started to make videos. They will make the video like this. They will title that video. They will tag Wodemaya. No, they will tag Ayamawa and his entire family and then they will speak terribly. Like when I say terribly, like stinkly bad about the family, about Ayamawa. And then at the end or in the middle of the video, they will speak graciously and amazingly, beautifully about Wodemaya and even tag him. They will tag the two parties. You see, I told someone that if I was in Wodemaya's shoe, I am going to make a video disassociating myself from that because that is not me. I know it's not with the Maya that have sent anybody to do that. So, but because of where we are, this kind of place, when, when somebody wants to fire back, you won't be spared, you know, because I know you do very well. These people that are being dragged and then people have your character and your name associated with that dragon, they are going to come for everybody and you will be affected. I said it. Uh, though not to Wodemaya because I don't have access to Wodemaya. It is not something that is done in a deal. If it has become like a permanent, it's a niche for majority of people. People even start YouTube channel just to grow, you know, on that. Wodemaya, I am Mawa. Wodemaya, I am Mawa. Ayamawa did this with the Maya. Oh my goodness, they associate these two guys, even though them themselves they've been acting like there's no issues going on. And I wanted to believe there is nothing going on between them, no problem. But every time when you see people reacting, you turn here, this one is reacting. Recent time, other people started to do the exact same thing to Wodemaya exact same thing to Wodemaya. A lot of creatives started to open their channels or even left their original niche to go into that to drag Wodemaya for Ayamawa. I really believe in my heart that Ayamawa did not send these people to do that. But you know what? What is, I mean, someone will be like, after all, Ayamawa, they have been dragging him and um, have been associating the dragging with Wodemaya. And uh, nobody complains, so I, I can as well do the same. And these people are getting tons of views, so and nobody has come out to strike them, nobody has condemned the act. So, why not? I can as well join now. A lot of people have joined, but not until a certain guy from America, a YouTuber, his YouTube name is Avan Venture. Avan Ventures or Ivan Ventures. I'm going to leave his picture somewhere on the screen. He visited Ghana. Immediately he visited Ghana. The next thing he talked about wanting to meet with Wodemaya. Boah, he met with Wodemaya. So supporters of Den Wodemaya and sympathizers of Mawa, they didn't like that meeting. 
they were like how dare you like how dare you agreed to meet advance venture or events or advance please mister if you're watching this video sorry that i mispronounced your name they were like how dare you agree to the maya how dare would the maya agree to meet advance venture why you shouldn't have met him when he asked to meet you you should have turned it down and then since then till now a lot of dragging has been going on with Woody Maya. people have been dragging him some i am seeing videos some are dragging ayamawa some are dragging Woody Maya, and then they set them up against each other advance or advance now asked Woody Maya some questions about african women and he gave his thoughts okay i don't want to play anybody's video in my videos i don't want trouble <laughs> I have spent sweat and blood on my channel to build it. So I'm not going to let anybody strike the channel. I'm not going to let anybody strike my channel for me. So Wodemaya gave his take, talked about African marriages, uh, uh, women and uh, money and then uh, polygamy. He talked about all that. I watched the video because I had to go look for that video to watch and see what Wodemaya did for them to crucify him the way they are doing. So when I watch the video, like, I did look at him. Does this, I mean, what did he say that warrants, you know, all this? Ah, uh, I was still on it. I am Mawa because I'm following both of them. But they might have not posted the advanced guy on his channel. So I didn't see any video until I went to the guy's channel. But I went on, um, I saw a live stream by I am Mawa. I couldn't follow up immediately because I had other things at the moment that I was doing. So, but I am Mawa talked about it. He never called anybody's name more. And he said he wasn't going to call anybody's name. He talked about it, um, how the KFC chicken, you can go on his channel and look for that video, that live stream. He talked about the KFC chicken. Uh, he talked about a lot of things. And that was just like fuel, like adding fuel to fire for that fire to catch and consume anybody and everybody. So a lot of people just went straight up and start reacting. And where I feel like, I need to say something before it gets better than it is already. This was the Maya dragon. It's not a joke. I am Marwa own. They drag his character. Okay? Those people dragging I am Marwa, they are dragging his character. They are dragging his family background. But what the Maya own, they are dragging his character. They are dragging his family. They are dragging his physical look, physical appearance. Oh my God, this is so bad. You'll be saying, eh, Wodemaya don't care. My brother and I lie. He cares. Okay? Wodemaya cares. Ayamawa cares. Everybody cares. See, wait until you, you are talked about on social media, dragged especially, not talked about in good light. If everybody talking, saying good things about you, of course, you could be sweet now. You want people to see. But when you are dragged, my dear, you see the social media, you find yourself at the hospital because it's not a joke. It's not a joke for you to sit down and watch someone insult your mother, insult your wife, your husband, your children. Some of us have gone through this, I told you. Like I had people in the past, even though they are nowhere to be found. For me, they are, they are six feet under the ground. They are buried on YouTube here. Even though they are nowhere to be found, I know what I went through. I remember waking up every morning and being afraid to go to my YouTube studio analytic because there is gonna be one, somebody calling me a prostitute or the other, another person dragging me, calling me a single mother, poor and all that. In fact, I know what this is. I'm gonna wake up to someone telling me I do not love Ghana and pretending. I'm gonna wake up to someone asking me some very silly question about my children. I know what they are going through. They are going through a lot. Even though the two of them want to act like I don't care, they care. Because if you don't care, if I am Marwa don't care, he would not have made that video that he made, that live stream. Even though bro never ever mentioned Mr. Ghana, baby, he wouldn't do that video. Bro, if you didn't care, you won't do it. You did it because you care. It's a pain. I can relate. And even if Bodemaya is acting like, oh, he doesn't care, he made a community post that soon is going to be striking them and soon he's going to leave the space, this space for them. I don't understand. Like, bro, you made that much money. You want to go? No, you want to go? 
But they might have, please, if you want to go, just give me your channel. That's the only thing I ask. Eh? I'm not telling you to go, but if you want to go, your channel is highly needed. Hmm? What? You're going to leave YouTube? I mean, what job are you going to do? Okay, real estate. Good. Good. Not bad at all. But um, why are you going away? Is it because of the dragon? This is why I say they care. These guys care. If I were you right now, before things go better than they are right now, because it is so painful for you to watch someone drag your mother, your wife, your uh, husband, your, your kids. It hurts. If I were you guys to avoid things going better than they are, come out and make a video. Address your fans. Ayamawa, address your fans. Tell them not in my name. Don't drag anybody in my name. Would the Maya do this? And this is long overdue. I, I expected him to have done this long ago, not because he sent these people, but because I feel like it's the right thing to do. And you see this, Shesha, this YouTube especially. Hmm? <laughs> Anything people do to other people in your name, even though you didn't send them, don't worry. It's just a matter of time. It comes back to bite you on the ass. Like it bites you bad. It is so dirty. It was so painful that I stayed awake at night and I asked my God, if there's something I've done to these people and I didn't know, please, daddy, can you open my eyes to see? And there was nothing. So this thing can hurt deep, deep, deep into the bone marrow. So the best way and how to deal with this now, before it get physical, you have people that are loyal to you as a, as a YouTuber. If they can get physical, that is how much people love you on like as a celebrity, yes, now nah. YouTubers are celebrity. As you're out here, a lot of people get to see you. Like maybe ten thousand people get to watch your video, two thousand people. These are real humans with real emotions. Some of them loves you so much that they can do anything for you. If they feel like you are being constantly abused by the other party, they can get physical with that that person. So the best way to go about this, you guys address your fans. Tell them not in your name. Tell them you are not associated with it. You don't want that. Anybody that attacks you and uh, insult Ayamawa, tell that person, no, don't try it. If you can arrest that person, arrest them. I mean, yes, physical arrest. Anybody that attacks Ayamawa and then use that to insult Wudemaya and the, his entire family, Ayamawa, I am enjoining you, brother, today. Take action. Don't, you guys, don't let people set you up. See, if Whiskey and David Doe of Nigeria didn't handle this thing with wisdom, they would have killed each other since. It's not like they have hatred for, in, for each other. It's their fans. Because the way someone loves you, that person can hate another person so much they don't know how to reach or pass out their anger to the other person they find you like a perfect tool to use against the person they hate and they want to come in your name to start hating on the other person they want to use your name they they wish you hate that person like they do even though you don't hate that person they want to make sure that they create that impression that you hate the other person for them to feel good about how they feel about the other person so this is the time for you guys to i'm not saying you should be friends again okay you don't you don't have to be friends i am mawa and wodemaya you don't have to be friends and at this point you shouldn't be friends but you should come out and address your camp okay address your camp um individual camps tell them to leave each other alone okay if there's anything that going on between Wodemaya and ayamawa you guys should be able to sort it out within yourself okay without having to you know involve your fans in it or allowing your fans to get you involved this is just like them your fans making a mountain of nothing like making building a mirage where nothing exists this is there's no fight between these two guys there's no competition these guys are not competing at all at all ayamara travels the world he goes to different continents and his videos and that of wedemaya are nothing alike because ayamara basically travel meet different people okay just maybe just like street interview ask them oh what's your name maybe he starts a youtube channel for that person coach them on how to do takes us to different shopping 
centers you know just different things um around that country it is not the same thing with wodemaya wodemaya goes to different african countries interview business owners you know talk about um black people returning to africa so i have not seen a video of where um, ayamawa is calling on black people of america or any other country to come back to or continent to return to africa but that's all what Maya does so where is the competition these guys are not competing these guys are not competing at all and they are doing fine so the fact that one has higher subscribers count while the other has lower doesn't mean the other one is more successful than the other you see this youtube i as a youtuber will tell you for free that if you like have 5 million subscribers if your views are not high if you're not getting enough views you won't make money if you like have 10,000 subscribers if you're getting a lot of views on your videos you will make some money that is how youtube is so these guys are not competing you guys should please stop it okay Ayamawa and Wodemaya are not fighting and it's up to you guys to come out and address this address it for good whoever wants to hate on Wodemaya shouldn't do it in your name whoever want to hate on Ayamawa shouldn't do it in your name you are not associated with that because I know you guys deep down your hearts you wouldn't you wouldn't love this you wouldn't I strongly believe that not either of you none of you have reached out to any youtuber to say go and do this Go and do this to this person. Go and drag this person. So why are you allowing people to use you to build their own careers? And please, dear reactors, don't come for me, okay? I am not a reactor. I don't hate your job. But I feel like sometimes you are more of a bully than a reactor. Don't let the emotion get the best of you. If you have a problem with that person, do it in the name of you come out with your full chest and fight. But don't let it be because you are a reactor. You now feel like, okay, this is a perfect opportunity for me to drag and call names. If you want to drag me, feel free, but please keep your emotions aside. Okay? You guys are doing a good job. You see, reacting on YouTube, there's a lot of money there. That's why you see, majority of the people doing it, they are my country people. We like money and we like to not waste our time in anything. When we are doing something, we want to profit from it. <laughs> my Niger people, we like it. So please calm down if you want to react. You can actually react about Odemaya without having to insult his mother. Or call him names, you know. Um, some people are saying Wodemaya well, is not starting a YouTube channel for anybody in his family because of this, because of that. Please, in future, if anybody in my nobody in my family, if nobody in my family is doing YouTube, it's not because I refuse to teach them all. It is because they don't want to learn, they don't want to do it. They feel like it's too much work and they don't want to, they don't have time for that. So it's, it's simple. So it could be that, okay, that what am I have people or friends and family are not interested in doing YouTube. So it's not just because he's a bad guy and refuse to share. As for Ayamara, why everybody in his family is doing YouTube, I'm so proud of Rats. Okay, congrats, mom. I am so proud of congrats, mom. Doing YouTube as a, a matured woman. A mom in the village I love it all right keep it up everybody all right so please stop this if you want to react calm down and do it don't just come out and address it all right thank you for watching this video as I am ending it here I'll see you in my next one bye